Hello everyone, welcome back to Continental Food and Cake TV. If today is your first time here, you are highly, highly welcome. My name is Joy Joy. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make chicken burger. It tastes so delicious and this is my children's favorite food. Whenever I tell my children I'm making chicken burger, they're so excited because they tell me, Mommy, we prefer your burger than the shop one. I'll show you the tricks and tips on how to make burger that tastes better than the takeaway burger. So let's get started. In this bowl, I have 500 grams of chicken mince. When you buy your chicken mince, make sure you buy the one that contains at least 10 to 20% of fat. Next, I'm adding all the seasoning. I'm starting with one teaspoon of chicken seasoning, one teaspoon of curry powder, one teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of ginger powder, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of salt. Next, I add half a teaspoon of mixed herb. Then I mix together until it's well combined. Make sure you mix until it's well combined. At this point, I add one tablespoon of onion powder because I forgot to add it earlier on. After adding the onion powder, I also mix together to combine. So after mixing together, I transfer to the fridge to allow it to rest for at least 10 to 20 minutes so that the chicken mince will marinate. Next step is to make the patty. Here I have some flour, the minced chicken that has rested for 20 minutes, then I have the plate to, you know, to transfer when I finish uh, molding it. So I'm going to take a handful of the chicken mince, then with my hands, I'm going to mold it into round shape. While I'm doing this, molding the chicken mince, I'm going to ask you for a favor. If you're new here, you've not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button, smash the subscribe button, uh, give this video a thumbs up, also leave your comments, let me know, do you like chicken burger and which of the burger is your favorite burger? I would like to know, leave your comment and also check the decision box, you're going to find all the list of the ingredients, I'm going to list it there. The decision box is under the title of this video. After molding and prepping the chicken mince, the next step is to fry. I have my pan in a medium high. To that I'm adding one tablespoon of vegetable oil. The vegetable oil is going to stop the chicken mince from drying out. So next allow the pan to heat up for at least one to two minutes, then transfer the chicken mince. And with the chicken mince, I'm going to fry until it turns golden brown before I flip over and it takes between one to eight minutes. It's been 8 minutes and I'm going to flip over and when I flip you can see it's golden brown look at that it's smelling amazing already it smells so so nice and I can't wait for my children to eat it this is my children's favorite food <laughs> and I'm making it they're still in school by the time they come back the chicken burger is ready so please I'm going to encourage you if you've not been making chicken burger at home or even that is you know try to make it at home because trust me the one in the shop they don't really season the meat so you making it at home you have control of how you're going to season your chicken mince because that's where the flavor starts the building of the flavor that's where you start building the flavor so once the chicken mince is golden brown i scoop it out to make the chicken burger I'm using this soft white bread, but you can use the regular uh, burger bread. But I prefer this one because it's softer and it's eight in the pack. It's so affordable. It's just one pound ten or one pound twenty, and you have eight of it in this pack. So when you make your chicken burger at home, you're also going to save money. You're also going to be saving money because the chicken burger that I'm making is like a pound ninety nine in the shop, and it's not very tasty. So next, I'm toasting the bread. Toasting the bread is very important because you don't want your chicken burger to be soggy so you see just toast it for at least two to three minutes and that's it take it off the heat next i have two tomatoes that i wash off camera with a knife i'm going to slice it into thin size and if you've not give this video a thumbs up please give this video a thumbs up also leave your comment mm -hmm. 
The sauce I'm going to use is ketchup and mayonnaise, but you can also use mustard or any burger sauce that you like. Next, I have the cheese that I'm using. So after I prep everything, everything is ready. So it is time to, you know, build the burger as in building time. So I have the bottom bread laid out. So next I'm adding fresh lettuce. You need lettuce for this. So after, after adding the fresh lettuce, I, I add the tomato. You also need a fresh tomato, you know, to give you that fresh taste, vegetable. So next I'm adding the chicken, the, the fried chicken for the burger. So after adding that, I add the ketchup. Remember, you can use any sauce that you like. Make up your own sauce. This is what my children like. So I add more lettuce. Then after that, I add cheese. Remember, you can also toast your cheese, but my children don't like it. So for the top bread, I spread it with mayonnaise. Then add it and that's it. That's how to make chicken burger so so easy to make and very very affordable mm -hmm. this tastes yummy so please let me know if you're going to make this for yourself or for your family let me know in the comment section and if you've watched it this time thank you so much to all my subscribers my returning subscribers those who come back to watch my video i appreciate all of you those who leave comment thank you so much please check the decision box you're going to find the list of the ingredients thank you so much please follow me on instagram continentalfood.cake if you've not subscribed please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up share with your friends and family i love you all and i will see you in another one bye bye